Hello folks and welcome. So I have a tour and overview of Watt OS, LXDE desktop, out of the United States. It's a Debian based system. So uh, before I get going on the tour, just wanted to make a quick mention that uh, none of my uh, YouTube videos are under two minutes, and but they do have chapters or timelines if you hit stop on your players. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to DistroWatch first, just to give you some information about this distribution. So if you have never been onto DistroWatch, and let me resize that, it's quite large. Uh, DistroWatch has all kinds of information on Linux and BSD and that kind of stuff, but they also have uh, information on di different Linux distributions. Uh, you can also get the same link on my YouTube site there if you, for convenience purposes. Anyways, I'm going to go to the page head ranking area all the way down to the bottom to no, number 100 and give you some information about this system. And let me make this larger for you. And uh, this is Watt OS. It's a Debian based system out of the United States and they offer the LXDE desktop. Uh, they do offer live medium so you can go test drive it. Uh, networks and old computers. Fast desktop distribution based on Debian and using the uh, Openbox window manager. Their website is planetwatt.com. Now I'm going to give you standard um, information on a terminal using not, not top but uh, NeoFetch. I use these computers for other things so don't read too much into the hardware but uh, let's focus in on the actual distribution stuff. It's Watt OS dash R12. I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this, but uh, I'll just pull up my calendar. This is today's date. It's on March 13th, 2023. For you folks that like to look at kernel information, there you have it. And I'm filming in uh, 1080 today to give you the larger perspective. This did boot up in 4K, just to, thought I'd let you know, but I decreased it to 1080. So the DE or desktop environment again is LXDE. The window manager is Openbox. Other than that, I am going to uh, close this. So, and then I'll close the calendar. Let's start at the top here. What can I do by right clicking on my desktop? Well, I can create stuff. Folder, empty file. There's a paste command to select all, invert selection, sort. Desktop pre preferences have three different uh, areas here. And uh, <clears throat> then you get two icons on your desktop. I'll get into that when I get into the file manager downstairs. But anyways, just two icons there. Well, let's start over here on the right hand side. So maybe the, my logo might be over this uh, in the panel bar, but there's an arrow here. And then you can uh, shut down, reboot, suspend, and all the other goodies. You have a lock screen, you have a standard calendar, and of course, if you right click, there's other settings. Same thing, I'm gonna skip over this icon, it's simple screen recorder, and that's the only piece of software that I installed today. Uh, Bluetooth, if you got them, wireless, and uh, the volume thing, and right clicking, you can also do other things. Same thing with right clicking on the panel, you can do other things. Simple screen recorder needs to be here the whole time so I can bring you this video. We have a uh, desktop two or desktop one for workspaces. Here's your terminal box, um, Firefox uh, web browser, and uh, might as well click on the file manager at this point. It's uh, PC Man FM, lightweight file manager. These are your standard icons. Mr. Mark is our fictitious user for today. You can also view this in a little differently. So if I did not want a detailed view, I can go to icon view. And I can also resize these icons by doing the zoom in and out in normal size. In other words, uh, you, know, you can flick that and you can also do it my way. I'm going to hold down my control key with my left hand because I'm right handed. While I'm holding down the control key with my left hand, I'm going to scroll up and down with my computer mouse scroll wheel. All right. Interesting attribute. It kind of goes with this. So anyways, these are your standard home folders. Now I'm going to move on. We have the main menu. I'll just talk about what's installed. This is not a virtual box. This is an installed copy of Watt OS. So you get mousepad, screenshot, vim, archiver, under graphics, document viewer, gthumb, 
Under Intertab, you've got the Firefox and Transmission. Under Office, Document Viewer. Sound and Video, the only thing I added was Simple Screen Recorder using Synaptic Package Manager. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So you get the Pulse Audio and the VLC player. Under System Tools, again the File Manager. The Debian Package Installer, Gpart it if you're wanting to uh, do partitions on your hard drives or USB sticks. HTOP is a process monitor ran out of terminal. And of course you can open up terminal and type in top also. LX Terminal Task Manager. Under Preferences, we have lots of stuff. I am not going to open a lot of this stuff. Custom Look and Feel. And of course, as uh, all my video states, whenever you're customizing any desktop environment, always make screenshots. All right, so I will stop off at monitor settings just briefly, just to make mention that uh, I am capable of running this in 4K, and it did boot up in 4K. All right, just wanted to make mention of that. And uh, so there's Synaptic Package Manager. Let me finish the menu before opening this. You have the logout key here and the rest of the stuff like reboot and suspend. And you have the same thing over here with that arrow. Other than that, I think I've already discussed these icons. So let's go open up um, Synaptic Package Manager. So again, my user is Mr. Mark today. So uh, under normal conditions, let's look at help. Uh, there's the Debian logo and um, we have 59,633 packages currently listed here, 1442 installed. I installed Simple Screen Recorder, which um, that number will change slightly. But more importantly, it's pretty simple to use this particular thing. Synaptic Package Manager. And where is the stuff coming from? The repositories or repos, some people call them. Your software is coming from these locations. And there is a scroll bar here. So you can see that's at Debian. Okay, cancel. It's pretty simple to use, actually. If you are looking for something, my favorite search, if I already know what the package or software is, as I put it in manually, and use name only. But this does default to description and name just with most synaptic package managers, that's exactly how they come up. So I'm gonna do name and do search. If something is installed also, um, you can also change the preferences and show package properties in main window. I just activate that. I'm gonna hit cancel. So if I wanted to see what a screenshot of variety looks like, and I currently have two videos that were just posted today on my YouTube site as of uh, March 13th on two different distributions that discusses this uh, particular application or program. This is a screenshot when it pulls up. This is not my desktop. Today is not October 25th. And I discuss uh, pretty much on those two videos on how to configure this rather easily. And it is pretty simple to do. This uh, varies slightly, but it's uh, in general, the screenshot is pretty much on target. There's a couple of differences, but in general, this is how this would be configured, for instance. This, again, is a screenshot, so I'm going to close that. Not everything has screenshots, but a lot of things do. So this is Synaptic Package Manager. Okay, so if I go to Sections and All, again, that's 59,633 packages are listed. And some things, when you install them, requires more than one package or piece of software. Let me close that and close the calendar. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and you folks have a wonderful day.